Welcome back to Talk of the Town. This is our final guest for today's show. Ever wondered the difference between a bank and a credit union? Our next guest will tell us what that is. Joining me is Victor Frazier. He's of Educators Credit Union. Thanks for coming on today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So let's go right to that question. I bet a lot of us stumble over and wonder, but maybe never Google. Yes. <laughs> yes. What is the difference between a bank and a credit union? Sure. The major difference between a bank and a credit union is the credit union is actually owned by its members, so we're considered a financial cooperative. So one of the easiest ways for me to explain that concept to people is our wonderful Green Bay Packers. They are actually owned by the citizens of Green Bay. So they all share in the benefits of when the team does well. Same thing with the credit union. If the credit union makes a profit at the end of the year or does well, we share in that profit with our membership. Instead of just one owner having all of the profits, the membership shares in the profits. So we do that by giving lower interest rates on our loans, higher interest rates on our savings accounts, and then we have minimal fees associated with our accounts. And banks are usually subject to the owners or the stockholders, where a credit union is a little bit different because the members have a say in the process of how the things run. We have our annual meeting, which you can stand up and say, hey, why is this going on in my particular financial or in my credit union, which not a lot of places you can do that at. Hmm, that sounds really great. It's almost like, well, why not? Yes, yes. <laughs> What's the history of Educators Credit Union? Wonderful. Educators Credit Union was founded in 1937 in Racine, Wisconsin, and it was called Racine Teachers Credit Union back then. And it's a wonderful story. It was a lady that had moved up from Illinois, and she'd been teaching in the district for about 10 years, and she couldn't get a mortgage loan because back in those days and times, women were subject of the men in the house. So she didn't have a father. She didn't have an uncle or a brother that lived in the town. So nobody in Racine would give her a mortgage for a house. So the teachers got together back in 1937. The credit union movement was sweeping across the country, and they formed Racine Teachers Credit Union. And she was the first person that put down $5 to start the credit union. And fast forward 80-some years later, and we're still only $5 to join Educators Credit Union. And we really still have an emphasis on providing solid financial education for our membership. And you're open to everyone, not just teachers. Correct. We are a community charter credit union. So anybody that lives or works in one of our communities that we serve can certainly join Educators Credit Union. Now, Victor, you're the director of community engagement. So what's mm -hmm. a typical day like for you? Oh, the wonderful thing about my job is that there are no typical days. <laughs> <laughs> it, it all. Um, I get to be with you this morning, which is a great experience. And then later on this afternoon, I'll be at Marquette University speaking to a group of, a group of young people that are in a program called Upward Bound, where they're in a summer school program to get them ready to go to college. And then later on the, this after or this evening, um, I will be attending a, a board meeting for you. Do, um, I'm sorry. Uh, MPS is having a board meeting because one of our branches is actually inside of a high school, so we have to go every year and, and get approval. Uh, so there really is no, no typical day at, at all. There's not a nine to five at all. There's no banker's hours that a lot of people <laughs> think to think when they think of finances. Variety is the spice. Mm -hmm. The financial literacy is actually really important to you folks. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, you were going to the school, mm -hmm. and you wanted to talk a little bit about credit reports today. Sure. What did you want to share? Yeah, just that people really need to understand how important your credit report is and how actually that number can affect and impact your life. If you're not familiar with what that number is, there's a bunch of ways you can get that number now. But really the thing that people don't understand is that credit reports now are being used for various other things in your life. If you're thinking about getting an apartment, your landlord is most likely going to check your credit report. A lot of times if you're applying for a job nowadays, your employer is going to be checking your credit report. And even insurance companies are basing your rate based on your credit report. So long gone are the days where your credit report was simply tied to borrowing money. That's really good to know. Oh, we have about a minute left. Is there a financial tip, another one that you can give us? Yeah, one of the things that I really find when I talk to young people and to families is that, that people just have an uncomfortable nature about talking about money. So my financial tip to families and, and people that are watching is maybe carve out a half hour, maybe start off with 10 minutes a week just talking about finances with your family. You know, how much is that vacation to the Dells going to cost you guys this summer? If you're going to Disney maybe in two years, talk about it with the family. Or even if your student is thinking about going on to higher education, just have a good conversation about what that looks like. And how many of us have said, if we would have only known when we were kids 
how important money is and such. Absolutely. We're about out of time, but why are you so passionate about this? Uh, I'm so passionate about it because I'm the youngest of seven <laughs> kids and the first one to go to college in my family. And we didn't have these conversations. So I learned a lot of bad habits mm -hmm. from my family. And it really took me until I was in my late 20s to kind of figure it out. And I think a lot of people are in that same boat. So if I can just get through to one child and say, here's why it's important. That's why I'm passionate about financial literacy. And how fitting that you're with Educators Credit Union. Thank you so much, Victor. Thank you very much. All right. Victor is with Educators Credit Union. They have many branches. You can check them out online. And that's it for our show today. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all of our guests. And we'll see you again on Talk of the Town.